Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we are going to be making a brownie that looks like a football. So we're going to have fun with this, and I'll give it a minute for some people to join, and we'll get into it in just a moment. This is my first live broadcast ever since before Christmas, so I know it might take a minute for some people to come on because I haven't been consistent, and that's mainly because of, well, the holiday for one. Last week, I wanted to get back into this, but I was not feeling well. So I am getting better, and hopefully people will join in just a moment or two. And as they come on, okay, so on Facebook, we have six people watching right now, two people on YouTube. So thank you, guys. Uh, we are going to make these brownies from scratch. And we are going to make them. It's going to be pretty simple to do. It's an easy brownie recipe. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. It's almost there. It'll be there in just a moment or two. You'll hear the sound go off. And there it is. So that's my sound telling me my oven is ready. We are going to make this. If you're in YouTube, please say something in chat because I don't see the chat right now. I don't know. I don't know why. Am I am I broadcasting? It says I have 14 or 18 people on YouTube. So if you're there, say hi in chat. I don't know why it's not working. It does I don't see the chat for some reason. Let me get into another open up another thing. So yeah, if you're watching this, say hello so I can see and um, love to say hi. I don't know why none of the chat's working right now. So not even on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, say hi as well. Ne that's odd that neither of the chat is working. Very odd. <laughs> so it has me stumped. So I'm going to try to figure this out real quick because I do love seeing your comments. And right now I do not see your YouTube is broadcast. Okay, great. I'm glad I got that message. It's broadcasting. I don't see comments. I don't know what's happening with that, but um, I'm glad it's broadcasting okay. Um, I have no clue why it's not showing me the comments. I'm sure somebody had to comment something. <laughs> so I'm glad it's broadcasting okay. So if I don't see your comment and you do comment, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, all live. Oh, there we go. Okay. I finally found the chat. Okay. Finally. Hey, how's it going? Great. Um, uh, it's a magical chat. Yeah. Um, I saw what happened was there's a little thing up in the top corner of YouTube for chat and it wouldn't let me see my live chat and I had to click it to get it. So there it is. We're back, uh, on YouTube anyway, for the comments. I don't see any comments on Facebook, which is worrying me, but I don't know how to fix that. Uh, so sorry. So if you make a comment on Facebook, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll see it at the end, hopefully. Um, but yeah. So yep. So I'll say, are you going to for the Patriots or Rams to win the Super Bowl? Oh, good question. Um, you know, I like to root for the underdog, of course. And I remember rooting for the Patriots the first time they went and they, of course, won. I still have – I went to Las Vegas right before the Super Bowl, the first time the Patriots went, and I still have a ticket. I, I, I bet on the Patriots to win. They were a big underdog at the time, and they won. So I still have that ticket. I didn't win much. It's a very small amount, so I wasn't rich from it. Uh, hi, James. Hi, uh, Dave. How are you? Jacob, um, Drew, Brenda, Hannah. Hi, uh, these waffles. I love that. <laughs> Lacey, hi. Uh, you're going to be listening to you, but I'm going to, to be games. Oh, cool. Patriots. That's what Patrick says. So yeah, so we're going to get to making these. These are wa or waffles. I have somebody's name on my mind there. <laughs> you're not a sports fan, Mega Man. Cool. Uh, by the way, just to let you guys know, in less than two weeks, I will be at LA Cookie Con in Anaheim at the Anaheim Convention Center. So just to let you know, if you're going, let me know. That would be cool. I'll say hi. Um, I'll be there at LA Cookie Con both Saturday and Sunday. I have uh, stage performances on both days, I believe at 11 o'clock in the morning. And on, let's see, Saturday, I go on right before Ron Ben Israel. 
And on Sunday, I go on right before Rosanna Pancino. So it's really cool. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I still have a little bit of a cough. Um, but anyway, let's get to making these brownies. That's what I wanted to say. So I'm going to angle this down. And again, if you're coming on Facebook, I'm sorry if I don't see the comments. For some reason, I'm not seeing the comments on Facebook. I don't know why, but it's not showing. So, but I see them on YouTube. So we're going to start out with two cups of sugar. Put that in a large bowl. This is one cup, which is two sticks of melted butter. And I'm just putting it all into one thing. I'm not doing like two separate, like a, um, you know, dry ingredients and wet ingredients. We're kind of doing this and mixing it each step of the way. So I'm not going to mix it much. So mix the butter and sugar together. All right. So that's good. It doesn't, you don't have to mix it a lot. That's good. Now we got that. Now for this, this is a choice. And I need you guys to comment, especially on YouTube because I can't see the Facebook ones. But we have a choice. We are going to use the special dark chocolate cocoa or the regular milk chocolate. Which one should I use? Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark or milk? Let me know because it's going to be half a cup of whichever one you guys decide. Regular chocolate, dark. Uh, Charlie Brownies, ha, ah, that's funny. Uh, milk, milk, milk chocolate. Lots of people choosing milk chocolate. And I wish you can comment on Facebook, but I won't be able to see your comments for some reason until afterwards. Of course, Dad, you said milk. Um, we know that. <laughs> uh, regular, dark. Most people say regular. So I think I'm going to go with the regular. I'll put the dark aside and we'll go with the regular chocolate, regular cocoa. Now, it does require a half a cup of this. And I know I'm going to push some more out on there than that, but that's all right. So here's a half a cup of milk chocolate, regular cocoa. All right. Put that aside. Get that out of the way. <coughs> all right. So I'll mix that in. Oh, this smells good. <laughs> uh, please make Mountain Dew Jolly Ranchers and Skittles. That's what Jacob says. It's funny, once you make, mix that chocolate in there, then it really starts to look like brownies. Look at that. Now, some people like to sift their chocolate before they put it in there. Same with, like, any kind of flour or anything. Uh, it's fine the way it is. We're going to put some vanilla extract. This is just one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Put that in there. And four large eggs. Mix those in. Chili powder, no. Uh, Dad says put some walnuts in there. I, I don't have walnuts. I do have pecans, but I don't know. Should I put pecans in there or not? I don't know. <clears throat> so now I have one and a half cups of flour. This is just regular, regular flour, all-purpose flour. Also going to add some baking powder, not baking soda, but baking powder. And this is only going to be a half a teaspoon here. I'll put it right there on top of the flour. And also a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor. Mix this all in. Uh, so Hannah says, yes, add some pecans. Uh, Tina says, no. Mega Man says, no. Dad says, no. Uh, 
Let's see. Do you like dark chocolate or white chocolate? Ooh, I like white chocolate better. Maybe sometime I'll do white chocolate brownies. That would be fun. Mix this up a little bit more. All right, smells good. beaters. <laughs> I know it has raw eggs in it, but you know, still good. All right. All right. I'll move that aside. Now what we do, let me move a couple of these things out of the way. And we're going to bring in a 13 by nine inch pan. This is a casserole dish, 13 by 9 inch. You can use a smaller one if you want to make your brownies thicker. It will take longer for it to bake if you do that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I've already greased this with some butter in there. I just smeared it around just to make the process easier. Now I'm just going to pour this in there. Spread it out nice and even. There we go. It's pretty good, I think. Now it should take uh, so 20 between, between 20 and 30 minutes for this recipe. Um, it really depends on how thin how thin I spread it. But 13 by nine ounce pan should make it where it cooks quicker. And I like thick brownies in general, but the fact that we're doing a live stream the thinner ones work better. That way it cooks quicker. So I'm just going to spread this out and make sure it's all even. So it cooks evenly. You don't want one side to cook and the other side to not. <laughs> so spread that out. All right. So our oven is already. Well, did anyone want this here? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put this in the oven right now. I set my timer for 20 minutes and we'll check it from there. Let me take a quick look at the comments and see what people are saying. Uh, what's your favorite hockey team? I like the Capitals. Uh, let's see. Uh, next, you do the brownie. James, replace the vanilla extract with peppermint. They taste good. Some people hate peppermint, though. <laughs> I never have luck making brownies. Oh, well, we're going to see how lucky I am today or not. Uh, that's all edge brownie pan. Yes. See, the edge brownie is the best. It's that mm, crispiness. Um, we are going to make a topping. I'm going to make a cream cheese topping. I'm going to do that now. And we'll do that while these are cooking. So in this, I have about two cups of powdered sugar. And, oh, yeah, my beaters are destroyed. I have to clean those. But that's okay. We'll, we can do it another way. So <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to use about half of the eight ounce, so four ounces or so of cream cheese with two cups of powdered sugar. Also another teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is gonna be our cream cheese frosting. We may have to play with it a little bit. Let me clean these real fast.
So uh, you should make churros out of Chips Ahoy. Hmm. I never heard of that. Ch churros out of Chips Ahoy. That would be interesting. Interesting. Uh, what's your favorite NFL football team? Well, um, the Ravens are because they live, they're like right down the street. Um, but the Dallas Cowboys were for a lot of my life before the Ravens even came to town. All right, let me mix this up. Now, be careful with this. Make sure your cream cheese is softened. And even with that, it still will go all over the place. Put it on low. And we do want to add, you can either add milk or water to this. So is anyone in here a Rams fan or a Rams fan or Patriots fan? Because congratulations, you're in the Super Bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this and let me find something. Yeah. Yeah, it helps if your cream cheese is really, really soft and runny. I put the cream cheese out in the middle of the day. It, it didn't get a chance to get real soft. So the water helps. Like I said, you could also use milk if you'd like. So I have a lot of travel coming up. Um, like I said, in a week and a half, uh, over the weekend. It's a Saturday and Sunday. I'll be at LA Cookie Con. I did that last year. It was pretty fun. This year I'll be there again. Add a little bit more water to this. And then I'm going to England. I'll be in London. This is almost done. Let's see. <laughs> Steelers fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Saints. Oh, sorry, Saints fans. <laughs> All right. So that's good, I think. So this is going to be a cream cheese frosting. I love cream cheese frosting when it comes to brownies. It, it just... It, it's the perfect frosting. I'll angle this up so we can talk a little bit while we're waiting for our brownies to cook, to get done, or bake, I should say. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's put that aside. And yeah, so I'm excited. Super Bowl. I'll actually be at LA Cookie Con during the Super Bowl. Um, but my my onstage demo is actually early in the day, at, like I said, 11 o'clock in the morning. So I won't miss the Super Bowl. In fact, I while i'm out there i might be going to a party we'll see so just to let you know if you're on facebook i can't see your comments right now i don't know why it's doing that um but you know i will most likely see them after it closes i just don't know why i can't see the comments for some reason on facebook i can see your comments on youtube though so by all means comment away <laughs> Um, let's see you should do the one chip challenge one chip challenge i don't know what that is uh, are you a fan of Lamar Jackson uh, from the Ravens? Um, typically, I don't like quarterbacks who run a lot. And the reason why is they tend to get hurt and then they're out for the season. Uh, he has amazing athletic ability. He needs to work on his accuracy, but he's young, so maybe he will. We will see. <laughs> Time will tell. So let's see. Uh, um, 
It's a spicy chip challenge. Ooh, I don't like spicy stuff. I have eaten spicy stuff before. In fact, even uh, last year when I went to Playlist Live in Florida, my friends from uh, Healthy Junk Food kind of tricked us and said, ooh, try this ice cream. And it was spicy ice cream. And that was, it had like all kinds of, it had like ghost peppers, jalapenos, like everything you can think of that was really hot. And I am not a fan of hot stuff, <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. Hi, James. Uh, I have one. You have one. What have? Um, what do you have, Tina? You said something. I have one. I, I don't know. Dangerous is what it is. <laughs> um. See, you could use Mountain Dew instead of water. <laughs> That's funny. Abnormal the clown says. So let's see, you know them. I know who. <laughs> Carolina Reaper pepper. Oh yeah, Carolina. Oh yeah, it was. They had every type of pepper in that thing, and it was just. Oh, they did film it. It was funny, and I think I can't remember the title exactly. It was. It was like we we prank famous youtubers or something like that i can't remember what their title was exactly at playlist live healthy junk food yeah but it's two l's and it's no a so it's it, it's um everyone thinks it's healthy like being healthy but their channel is actually h e double -L, l t h y it's a funny uh play on the word and um you know, because yeah, so it's not it's not actually healthy. It's the other way around. But yeah, so it's a lot of fun. We are cooking our brownies right now, or baking our brownies, I should say. And the brownies are in the oven. <coughs> I set it for twenty minutes. I don't know if it'll be done in twenty minutes. Uh, usually, brownies take a little longer. We did make it real thin so that it will cook faster than if we made it thick. And we are waiting for them. They're coming along. Um, so let's see. Dee's Waffle says, you live in Florida. Well, I'll be in Florida. And when is Playlist Live in Orlando? Um, I think it's March. I want to say it's March. I'll be there for that. Uh, so, yeah. What's my favorite NBA team? I'd have to go with the Wizards. I usually don't watch basketball that much. Um but sadly, the Wizards. <laughs> um, let's see. I have one of those chips, but not stupid enough to eat it. Oh, oh, like a spicy chip? Oh, yeah. Mm. Hot cocoa isn't spicy. <laughs> What's my favorite baseball team? Well, that's easy. That will be the Baltimore Orioles. Again, I live close to Baltimore, and you got to go. Okay, well, goodbye. Nice stopping by. Thank you. Uh, we're waiting on our brownies to bake. Uh, Baltimore Orioles, I actually had season tickets to the Baltimore Orioles for three years, and it was a team I grew up on. First major league baseball stadium I've ever been to was um, actually not this stadium. It was actually their older stadium, the one on 33rd Street, Memorial Stadium. That's what it was called. I almost couldn't think of it. That was the first time I've ever been to a major sporting event. Yep. I was young. <laughs> Can't remember how old. Seven or eight. I don't know. Uh, I want to make brownies, but I'm afraid I'll burn the house down. Well, don't burn the house down, whatever you do. Um, yeah, be safe. Don't burn the house down. But, yeah, so uh, let's go over. Um, like I said, I have some travel coming up. I'll be in L.A. for L.A. or Anaheim which is LA, but um, Anaheim, California for LA Cookie Con. It is a Saturday and a Sunday. It's February 2nd and 3rd. And like I said, I will go up before Ron Ben Israel on Saturday. And on Sunday, I'll go up right before Rosanna Pancino. And we'll go up on stage. I'm going to make something fun. And we're going to do a live, well, one-hour show. And it won't be on, it might be on YouTube later. I might film it. We'll see and share it with you guys. But uh, yeah, so if you're in the LA area and you're in the Anaheim area, stop by. Oh, excuse me. 
stop by um, both on Saturday or Sunday, either day. I'm there both. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. So if you're there, say hi. Tell me you've already been a subscriber. I'd love to hear that. That would be awesome. Um, that would be great. Uh, also, I will be, after that, I come back home here just for a day or two. And then I turn around and I go to London. And I'll be in London for over a week. Well, I'll be in England for over a week. I don't know if I'll be in London itself for the whole time. I might go explore a little bit beyond London, see more of the country. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't planned everything out to the T, but definitely be in London from, I think it's the 14th through 17th. That's when VidCon is in London. So I'll be going to VidCon in London, uh, and that's of February. So 14th through 17th, I think it is in London. So I'll be there. So if you're going to be in VidCon, say hi <laughs> in London. Say hi. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Where do you get your ideas for making most of your sweets from sodas? Ooh. Well, where that started was I started off with Mountain Dew ice cream years ago, and it was a big hit. People loved it. And from there, a lot of people made suggestions and said, you should make Mountain Dew this or Mountain Dew that. And I tried different things with Mountain Dew and it was a lot of fun. So, you know, I went from there and, you know, then I made like Dr. Pepper with stuff. So it was pretty cool. And, you know, it was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, tell Ro I said hi and that I'm her biggest fan. Oh, yeah. Fireblaze. OK, well, if I get to really talk to her, I mean, she's going to be busy like right after I go up, then she's going to go up and do her thing. Uh, but yeah, if I get to talk to her, I will tell her Fireblaze Jackie said hi and that you're her biggest fan. <laughs> I'm sure she'll love to hear that. But yeah, she's really nice. So works out. Hi, James. Glad to see you're feeling better. And who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Who? Um, like I said, I will root for the underdog, but I'm going to root for the Rams but it's probably going to be the Patriots. Um, you know, let's face it, as much as people hate Tom Brady, he is the best. I mean, you know, they get there over and over again. He's had, he has how many rings? Five, six, something like that. I don't even know. Lost count. But yeah, I mean, he is the best. <laughs> so he'll probably win. Uh, you should make soda cookies. Oh, let's see. Did I ever make those? Hmm. I did make Mountain Dew cookies before. I know that. Uh, Tyler says milk. <laughs> you play Fortnite. Um, I have tried to play Fortnite before. I'm not good at video games. So, you know, for me, video games, um, I understand them. I like the old school stuff like Atari. Like, you know, I loved Atari growing up because that was like the first video games that you had in your house. It was Pac-Man and Missile Command, Space Invaders. All that fun stuff. Now it's too complicated. The controllers have all these buttons on there and A, B, and this button, that button. And uh, it's too complicated for me. <laughs> I'm a simple person. I just want simple things. Uh, would you ever consider making something vegan? Uh, good question. I have been asked to do that. And in fact, I have done something by accident like that because I remember somebody commenting on one of my posts and said, oh, that's a good vegan recipe, you know, but I don't know much about vegan. Like I, I know what it is and everything, but I, I don't, I don't eat vegan stuff. So a lot of the things I make aren't going to be vegan just because I don't know a lot about it. And I know there are certain like rules about certain things. Like I know like some, even like uh, flavoring, if it's made in a factory where they also make something else, it could be not considered vegan. I, I don't understand all the rules to it. So, yeah. So I stick with what I know, which is sweets mostly. Uh, you have 2600 and Nintendo Entertainment System. Awesome. I did like the earlier Nintendo games, the like Duck Hunt and stuff like that. So it was fun. And again, I don't see the comments on Facebook for some reason. I do see them on YouTube. I don't know why I don't see the comments on there. I'm guessing I'll see them when I come off of the live i don't know i don't know what's going on with facebook but anyway make your comments if you're on facebook and hopefully they will appear somehow when i look through at the end um but yeah if you know if, if i'm not answering anything on facebook that's why so 
I apologize. I don't know what's going on. But if you do want to make a comment, make a comment. If it's something pressing that you really need answered, come over to YouTube. You can find me at Fun Foods YT very easily and make a comment. I can see it there. Controls are simple as it. Uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, yeah. Super Mario Brothers, too. That was one of the earlier ones. Yeah, I love that. So we got our brownies are in the oven. They are another two minutes. I'm going to check them. Are oh, the brownies on the menu for tonight? Yes, brownies are my dinner for tonight. That's what we're going to be eating, brownies. Um, now, we got to decide, too. So you saw the pan. I put it in a 13 by 9 inch pan. And are we going to put, are we going to, um, hold on one second. There you go, John. <laughs> that should work. All right. Comment, John, so I'll know. If it worked, um, <laughs> hey, I made you a moderator, John. So uh, if you comment, I'll know if it worked or not. <laughs> comment again, I should say. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we got to decide whether I want to make one big football or do I want to make individual small footballs. You know, we have a 13 by 9 inch pan and another minute or so is going to come out of the oven if it's ready. Um, we do have to check it to see if it's ready. Let me see. I have the handy dandy toothpick, and we will just stick that in and see if it comes out clean. If it does, then it's ready. Hey, John. Hey, you didn't have to do that. Thanks, buddy. Finally caught one of these <laughs> the lives. I know it's like it's hard seeing the lives, but I haven't been doing it for a few weeks because of Christmas and New Year's. They fell on Tuesdays, so I haven't been doing the lives. And then afterwards, I was not feeling good. So, yes, you got the wrench. Cool. That's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, that's not done yet. So we're going to put that. Unfortunately, the brownies are not done yet. So like I thought, it wasn't going to take 20 minutes. It was going to take closer to 30 minutes for the brownies to cook. But we did make, so I can recap some people, we did make this cream cheese frosting that's going to go on the top. And actually, we're going to use that to help decorate our brownies to look like footballs. But again, I want to make sure that it's if it's one giant football or little footballs, I don't know what we're going to do. But uh, help me out and let me know what you guys think about that and um yeah so one big football or a couple of different small footballs we will figure it out uh one of those little ones <laughs> little ones no evidence ha <laughs> funny <laughs> how do you make brownies crispy uh well you can leave them in the oven longer that's for one <laughs> Did you eat the meatball, the Swedish meatball I made, the PewDiePie Swedish meatball I made last week? I ate every bit of it. It took me a couple days, but um, I didn't eat the whole thing at once. Uh, but it was so good. It, it tasted amazing. I, I was surprised because it wasn't like we would make meatballs with eggs. And, you know, so it was very basic. It was just a few things. Yeah, so I cut it up. Um, I ate some of it at the time right after i was done filming then i ate some for lunch on or no dinner on sunday and i ate more of it on monday for lunch so yeah <laughs> can you mail you the meatballs they were they were absolutely amazing in the sauce i was surprised by the sauce because i'm not a big fan of teriyaki, teriyaki sauce but mixing it the way i did and and um letting it simmer it really gave it good flavor, and I was really surprised, actually. You should make a cake for Memorial Day. A oh, good one, Jacob. Yep, maybe I'll do that. And So you just looked, and standard passes for playlists are $99. Well, let me tell you something. If, you're smart, if you have Twitter, follow Playlist Live. Sometimes they do special discount codes, especially when it gets closer to the event. You can oftentimes find the um, the tickets for even less than that. So just a hint. <laughs> yeah, we got yesterday and you made pancakes out of chocolate cake mix. Oh, sounds good, John. That's that is mm, 
So John, motivation theory, he um, used to you kind of still do have the family vlogging channel, but motivation theory is also uh, helping other YouTubers and just people in general, whether you're a creator or not. But yeah, so John's a good guy. Um, check him out if you haven't. And also, can you be a moderator? Uh, let me see if I can do that. Hold on. So, hold tight. Hold on one second. Let me check some things. Oh, uh, yep. Now, the brownie is still, like, I have another six minutes on there. I don't know if that'll even be enough, to be honest with you. But I have my temperature set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I think, roughly, what, about 190 Celsius? Maybe less than that. Probably 175, 180 Celsius. Uh, my Celsius to Fahrenheit, I have to get used to that because I'll be in London in a couple weeks, so I should know. Uh, who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Like I said, I think it'll be the Patriots winning. Hey, Matt. Oh, man, you don't have to do that, buddy. Uh, thanks for that support, Arcade Matt. You are the man. But, yeah, so, um, of course, always check out Arcade Matt because he is the man for sure. He is a good friend of mine. We see him all the time at Playlist Live and VidCon. Matt, you need to go to VidCon London, man. You need to do it. Go to VidCon London. Come on. It's only a short... It's not even that far of a flight. It's almost the same distance between here in California as it is to there and there. Yeah, you should really do that. <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> okay, Matt, you had to come in and show up my super chat. <laughs> oh, you two are the best. John, yeah, just to let everyone know, um, Arcade Matt, Motivation Theory, which is John, and me, we're all like... You know, we all hang out a lot when we go to these events, whether it's VidCon or Playlist. Well, Playlist for all three of us, but VidCon if it's just me and Matt. Uh, yeah, John, you need to come to VidCon too. <laughs> come on, John. It's not like you have to go to work or anything, right? Come on. <laughs> or you do have to go to work, just not getting paid. Uh, but let's um, – yeah, we did five Playlists together. <laughs> so, yeah, five Playlists together. Yeah, that – it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Amy. So Amy says, Arcade Matt is amazing. You're right. He is. Hey, Drew Dude TV. Hey, what's up, buddy? Um, yeah, thanks for stopping in. So, yeah, it's um, – Drew Dude TV, by the way, did the most creative thing ever on – when we went to Playlist, and he's done it for a couple of years now, quite a few years. He's uh, – what is it? He puts a story together. People would put, like, either one word or a couple words, and he'd ask people to put these words in the box, and he would make a whole story, like an animated story, out of those words combined. So, like, my word, John's word, uh, Matt's word, all these things, and, and just really creative. And I thought that was just amazing what he did. And I was like, wow, that's really smart for – I mean, he's a teenager. I think he's, like – 16 or 17 i can't remember how old he is now but uh really smart that you know and it's really fun to see what he does with that drew that has the most creative thing at playlist yeah hands down you're right he, absolutely he is uh it's really fun to be around people that are that creative i keep looking over there because i'm looking at my oven because we're making these brownies and if you came in late we have the brownies in the oven we're just waiting for them to get done I made this cream cheese uh, sauce, I should call sauce, uh, frosting <laughs> that we're going to put on top of it. We're going to decorate it like a football. Again, we got to figure out whether we want one giant football or we want a bunch of little ones. And I don't know. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's see. YouTube wouldn't be able to handle it. Was, uh, did a live cooking stream? Oh, yeah. That it's definitely in the works. You don't know. I was up to Matt's house what last September, and we did the claw. I played the claw machine in Matt's house, which is pretty cool. He has a claw. If you don't know, Matt has Matt Arcade. Matt has a claw machine in his house. It was really cool playing that. So that was really cool. But he's definitely going to come down here, and we're going to make something. Obviously, in the next two weeks, I'm going to be gone because I'm going to LA. And then I'm turning around and going to London. You know, Matt, it's not too late. You can still buy a ticket to London. 
come on out <laughs> short dry short flight um so yeah uh but yeah so yeah we're definitely gonna do that and probably when i get back we'll plan on the time and we'll do something cooking and we we'll already have something in mind i know i told matt about it too i said that's the only person i would make that recipe with because it relates to him specifically and yes definitely john that'd be awesome come on up we'll plan it all all of y'all come up and hang out uh, one large football. One large football. Good. Thank you, Hannah, for that. I appreciate that. And Hannah, who is watching from England, by the way, uh, from the UK. And like I said, I'll be in the UK in a couple of weeks. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm always, always excited to go to the UK. It's fun. Um, I love travel anyway, but yep. So yeah, definitely. I think it'll be awesome if we can get all of us together, me, John, and Matt. Come on up and we'll make something we'll make something fun <laughs> maybe a couple recipes who knows but yeah it's great so another minute or so you've never even left the u.s <laughs> you know i was 23 before i even got on an airplane so and then i didn't leave the u.s until 2010 or 2009 i can't remember 2010 so 2000 maybe it was 2009 i don't know i can't remember now it might have been 2009. It was either 2009 or 2010 was the first time I ever left the United States, which was really cool. Went to Europe, and it was a lot of fun. Please follow the 10 0 match. <laughs> uh, you just got over your fear of flying like three years ago. Baby step still. <laughs> well, you fly all the way to California every year. Flying to England is not that much different from here. It's a, I mean, it's maybe a half hour longer depending on, you know, the winds, but yeah. <laughs> we'll have to meet up when you're over here. Yeah, I'll be there. Uh, like I said, I fly in. It's like a, I leave Saturday night, but I get there Sunday morning. And then I have a few days before VidCon starts. But yeah, definitely, especially if you're going to VidCon for sure. Let me check these. Uh, pull my little toothpick. That's what it's called. I can't even think toothpick and see if it's done. Nope. Another five minutes. And I'm cheating a little. I did increase the temperature to 375 Fahrenheit and we're definitely going to do that and increase that. Hopefully that will work. Brownie testing tool. Yes, that's what that is. It's a very sophisticated tool. Um, you can get it in my merch section, the brownie testing tool. <laughs> yeah. So how much did I sell that for in merch? You know, brownie testing tool. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Put a little fun foods logo across it somehow. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited. I've been working on stuff for, um, like I said, I'll be in LA Cookie Con in a week and a half. And I have two different things. I have the one before Ramdan Israel on Saturday, the one before Rosanna Pancino on Sunday. And the one on Saturday, I have perfected. I know what I'm going to do exactly. The one on Sunday, I'm not exactly sure. And that is Super Bowl Sunday. I'll be doing a live stream on Super Bowl Sunday, but, well, not live stream. It's a, um, a performance on Super Bowl Sunday, so I'll, but it's early enough. I'll be able to catch the game, so that's good. Sell the one you used in the video for somebody on eBay, right? <laughs> Has part of the uncooked brownie on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it is a lot of fun. So yeah, so that's the travel plans. Like I said, LA in a week and a half. I leave the first, so February first is a Friday, so I leave to go to LA be in Anaheim for a couple days, then just hanging out. I'll probably do Disneyland for sure um, because I'm a big kid and I got to get my Disneyland fix in. So I'll do that and meet up with some friends and stuff. And then I am going to come back here just for two days and turn around and go to London. So I'm excited. And that'll be VidCon in London. Uh, I went to Amsterdam last year, VidCon in Amsterdam. And this year they're having it at London, which is really cool. 
Uh, then, yeah, Orlando at the end of February. So, yeah, so it's it, it's crazy. I have so much packed in such a short period of time. So I have these two events that are back-to-back, week-to-week, and then I go to Orlando for at the end of February or March. I have a special travel thing that I'm not going to talk about here, but even though I'm pretty sure they're not watching, um, but you know, and that's like another month after that. <laughs> and yeah, but it's a lot of fun. Most people sell pans and spatulas, sell use baking tools. And yeah, you know, it's brownie testing tool. You know, this thing is, this is it. <laughs> Any plans for a meet and greet? Uh, pretty much if you're ever going to be at an event that I'm going to be at, I'm pretty accessible. You can walk up to me, say hi. Um, I don't typically have a formal meet and greet, but it, trust me, if you're ever going to be at like playlist live or VidCon or anything like that, you know, just say hi, just, you know, don't be afraid. Come up, say hi. Uh, I'm very approachable. I won't bite. I promise. Um, I'm pretty easy to get along with. <laughs> so, and usually you'll see me because most of the time, either Matt or, uh, John, <laughs> you know, are going to be usually right around near us because we all hang out together because we're like-minded people. We're good people who, you know, have, you know, common sense, I would say, other as opposed to some of the other YouTubers. <laughs> it's the best way I can put it. <laughs> yeah, James, it's like most of Jake I ever know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he'll wait for you at the, the bottom of this. But yeah, exactly, John. Yeah, we always run into one of the first people we see whenever I go somewhere is Motivation Theory John. Uh, him and his family, they show up and it's like dead giveaway. The one year it was hard finding each other because that was the year all these YouTubers wanted to dye their hair gray. And me and John, pretty easy. We can spot each other pretty easy in those crowds because, you know, we're the ones with the gray usually. But then one year all these YouTubers figured they would dye their hair gray and they're all like teenagers and they're dying hair gray. And then me and John are like, we can't find each other now. So thanks a lot, teenagers, but I'm glad that fat, that fad has ended. So uh, now we can spot each other pretty easily. So I'm going to check our brownies because it has another 10 seconds left in it. Okay. All right. Good. Good news, guys. The brownies are just about done. I'm just going to do this one last little mix. This is our cream cheese frosting, which we're going to use to decorate. And because Hannah had said, make one giant uh, football, that's what we're going to do. And I think that'll be easier anyway. So I'm going to move this out of the way. For right now, I'm moving that out of the way. And I'll angle the cameras down so you can see as I pull this thing out. Here we go. Do have a little bit of cough left, but hey, it's coming along. All right, there we go. All right, so we should let it cool down a little bit, but this is our brownie. Smells amazing, of course, because, you know, it's a brownie. And we need it to cool down a little bit. But let's see. Hopefully I don't burn myself because I'm kind of leaning in over this. Uh, it is nice and warm and it's really cold outside. So that's that's nice. Um, family. Uh, RK Man, I just watched my vlog uh, where you went to Disney Springs. Ooh. Um, yeah, I went to Disney Springs alone. Thanks. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> giving you guys a hard time so we're gonna let that cool down a little bit and um check that out yeah this year at playlist live orlando i i'm not going to be there long i'm only going to i'm flying in like friday afternoon wow i cannot get that camera set up what is wrong with me <laughs> so yeah i'm not going to be there long i'm going to be there i think i'm flying in friday afternoon and then i leave sunday night so yeah, so I won't be there very long. But, you know, I did get a really good deal on my Playlist Live ticket, so really good. Um, yeah, so like I said, follow them on Twitter. 
That's good, John, because I enjoyed those videos too. <laughs> You're bringing, oh yeah, cool. Uh, you should make brownies with Reese's crumbs. Oof, that'd be too good. That'd be way too good. And, um, you know, it's already almost seven o'clock. So if I did that, I would never be able to sleep tonight. And I need my sleep. Definitely need my beauty sleep. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, this is coming along. Now, of course, this isn't going to cool completely because we are in a live stream. But uh, one of the things I will do is, oh, piping bag. Yep. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put that frosting in this piping bag here. I'm not going to put a lot of it in there. And as always, it's a good tip to put your piping bag in a cup like this. Makes it easy to fill it. If you're just trying to hold it, as you saw me doing there a minute ago, it was not going to work out very well. So you take that and put it in there. Now, it also works if you don't have a piping bag. If you just have like a little sandwich bag, works fine. Works fine just like it is. Take it out. Just twist, push it down. Like I said, if there's a little sandwich bag, you just do it and cut the corner of it. I did make this frosting a little thick because I do know that it's going to, um, because we're going to put it on a warm brownie. And in general, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Let it, let it, um, firm up completely or let it, I can't talk, let it cool down completely before you would do this stage. But this is a live stream and kind of want to keep things moving a little bit. Um, and you can pretty much vision uh, uh, oh bacon sprinkles. Ooh. Bacon goes good with everything, even brownies. So yeah, I would do that. So basically right now, just envision, I'm going to cut it out after it cools down, but I'm not going to cut it right now. Envision the shape of a giant football. And we're going to put, all we're going to do is put those lines, football lines, right across it. All right. And oops. <laughs> you also want to make sure the air is out of your piping bag before you do this. And this is just cream cheese frosting. We made we made everything from scratch, everything from the brownies to the to the frosting, and then we'll put two big ones like this. Like I said, I'll cut it out after it cools down completely because it's just too warm right now to do that. I'd hoped it was going to cook in the twenty or thirty minutes, but it took a little longer. Uh, so just envision it like a big football. And this is a fun little thing to make. You can make it for your Super Bowl parties or your Super Bowl crying parties if you're not one of the teams in the in the event. And you can save this extra frosting to put it on. Like some people like frosting and some people don't. So that way, you know, if you don't like frosting, you can cut out a piece for you. If you do like frosting, cut out a piece for them. And, of course, after we cut the shape of our football, I am going to eat the corners and the edges. Uh, you should make candy bar egg rolls. Oh, that would be interesting. Hi, think big, think big gaming tube. Hmm. Uh, you can drive the, oh, drive that down the road, James. Yeah, come on up and get some. And uh, got some extras here. But basically, this is it. I'm not going to touch it because it's very hot. And oh, I can touch the bottom of that. So yeah, just envision the shape of the football because I will cut it out afterwards and you'll see it on the thumbnail once I've done with all that. But that's pretty much it, guys. So that is our brownie that we made and I can hold it up like that. So thanks for watching, guys. So I really appreciate you guys watching and joining this live and stream because this is the first live stream back from my little break from Christmas, New Year's and being sick. So 
we're back. We're making these stuff, and this is the first one, and it's football theme. Next week, I do plan on doing another live stream. The week after that, I will be in L.A., so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll try to do a live stream somewhere. Um, and then when I'm in London, I'm I'm working on something. I might be doing a live stream from the YouTube space in London, so we'll see. Um there's been issues with that, but we're working on that. We're trying to get that done, but yeah, I'm trying to work on that and that would be great. It might be at a different time though. So keep that in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, I want to thank everyone for coming on, watching this live stream, participating in the chat on YouTube, Facebook. I'm sure you're, you're chatting. Great. I really appreciate it, but I couldn't see the chat for some reason. Uh, hopefully they'll work that out and we'll get that fixed for next time. Uh, don't forget to click that bell notification so you'll be notified, as John mentioned there, uh, when I put a new video out. And thank you all for joining me. If you're going to be in L.A. for in a week and a half for L.A. Cookie Con, let me know. That will be cool. And I hope everyone does well. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Have a good night and a good rest of the week.